Real men do eat quiche, quiche Lorraine, today on Weekend at the Cottage. Quiche is one of my favorite dishes to prepare. I love the flavor of it. And if you've never made it before, let this be the recipe you try first. The results are truly outstanding. The recipe begins with us making a pie dough, and for that, head to weekendatthecottage.com, click our search icon, and enter pie dough. Lo and behold, my mom's incredible pie dough recipe comes up, and the recipe yields six discs of dough. One disc we'll use today for the quiche, the other five go into the freezer, and simply pull them out anytime you want to make a quiche or a fresh fruit pie. They never go astray. I've taken one disc of dough, it's rolled out on a flat surface, and then it gets transferred into a pie plate. You could also use a quiche pan for this recipe. I use a pie plate, I tuck the dough underneath, form the little crimping edges, and then a fork along the sides and the bottom to prick the dough crust into a fridge for 30 minutes to chill. Once your dough is chilled, take it out of the fridge. A little bit of tin foil, and I like to use pie weights. If you don't have pie weights, use beans or rice, just to weigh down the tin foil. The oven is preheated to 400 degrees. Place the pie plate into the oven, and allow the crust to pre-bake for about 35 to 40 minutes. When it's nice and golden, take it out of the oven, turn your oven temperature down to 375, and place your crust onto a wire rack until it's chilled. Now we need to do three key steps before we assemble our quiche. Number one, I have a medium sized bowl for eggs. The eggs are extra large. They are at room temperature and they are organic. The eggs are in the bowl. I add one cup of 35% cream, one cup of homogenized milk, a little dash of nutmeg, a tiny pinch of salt, and a little bit of fresh cracked pepper. Take a whisk, we're gonna whisk everything together. Make sure you break each of those egg yolks and then set your wet ingredients to the side. Now we're on stove top. Setting is medium high heat and I have six rashers of bacon. We need to cook them till they're almost crispy. As soon as it gets to that consistency, transfer the bacon off onto paper towel to remove the excess fat. And then back to the pan, take away all but one tablespoon of that bacon fat. Turn the temperature down to medium, and now we add one finely chopped white onion. We're going to cook the onion until it's translucent. Don't brown it. Keep it nice and translucent uh, and until it's nice and soft in texture. Now it's time to assemble the quiche. So far, so good. We have our pre-cooked pie crust. We're gonna sprinkle on our now chopped bacon. So I took the bacon and I chopped it up lightly. Add in your sauteed onion. Make sure those ingredients are dispersed evenly along the bottom of the crust. Now we need one cup of cubed, look at how small these little cubes are, cubed Gruyere cheese. A quarter cup of grated Parmesan, sprinkle your cheeses, and now pour on your wet ingredients until it covers almost all the way to the top of your pie plate. Place your pie plate onto a baking sheet that goes into the oven and you're going to bake your quiche for 35 to 45 minutes. How do you know it's done? Take a knife, stick it almost about an inch away from the crust. If the knife comes out clean, your quiche is done. I also shake the pie plate a bit. If it's all kind of, it's not too jiggly, your quiche is finished. Remove your cooked quiche from the oven, allow it to cool for 45 minutes before, hopefully you can wait that long, before you cut into it beautiful sized wedges. I like a large piece of quiche, especially if it's this delicious. If you have any fruit salad, serve it on the side for brunch. A little bit of tossed green salad makes this perfect for lunch. A couple of options on how you can enjoy this classic quiche recipe. Other classic recipes up at weekendatthecottage.com. Please subscribe to our website. Also on the Weekend at the Cottage dedicated YouTube channel. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to add, add a few comments on whether you like this video or not. And also, why not share it on your favorite social media feeds like Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. Come on back and let's do it all over again sometime soon. Thanks so much, take care.